In this video, I'm going to be going through how to use the different parts of Canvas to find your due dates and course information. And let me first start with the dashboard. So your dashboard is where all of your published courses will be. And you can change it to a different view. So if you like list view, you can change it to this. That gives you kind of a to-do list. But the downside of this is if your teacher's directing you to go into a course, you really need to see something within the course. So I would always suggest listing it as the card view so it shows up like this because you can treat these like individual classrooms. You can also view your to-do list over here on the right. It has all your upcoming assignments, due dates, things of that nature. So really this view, you should be able to access everything you need to access. Now, once you're in the course, keep in mind, your teacher will have those expectations for how work is completed within the course. One thing to take note, if you don't like the order of these courses, you can now click and drag your course and put them in any order you want. So if you need to put them in first, second, third, fourth block order, you now have the ability to do that. You don't have to leave them in the default order that Canvas puts them in. You can also go to courses and all courses to see all courses for that you're enrolled in in Canvas. So right now, the, the student's only enrolled in two courses, but I know that they're published. So if you're not seeing something on your dashboard, then check here because it'll tell you whether something's published or not. If it's not published, that means you can't see it and your teacher will need to publish it. Now, it allows you to select favorites, but if you star these courses, then the things with the stars will be the only thing that show up on the dashboard. I caution anybody from doing that as a student because it never fails. If you start starring things, then eventually you miss something and you can't find the course that you need. So if you just leave those unstarred, then all your published courses will show up on your dashboard and you'll be able to find what you're looking for. Now this next thing down the calendar, it works like that to-do list, except now it's in calendar format. It will show all of your courses that you're in with their due dates. So since these courses aren't actually, they, they don't have any due dates right now, that's why nothing will show up. Let me show it as the week view. I have a few options. The week view, it gives me one full week at a time with every due date and when it's due. The month view, same thing, except I can see longer term and kind of plan that out better. And then the agenda view goes down by the day. So I can go to any of the days and find out what's due that day. So this is going to be a personal preference for you. Whatever you feel like is going to help you the best, pick that. You know, personally, I like a week or a month view because the week... I feel like I need to know what's due next week and the week after so that I kind of make plans to figure out what needs to be done now. The inbox is where you can send messages to your teacher and communicate. If your teacher has given that option to you that she wants you or he wants you to use the inbox, it's a great way to do that because it sends an email to their Stanley County Schools email but also a message within Canvas. And you don't have to type in names or anything like that you can pretty much just go and compose and pick teachers in this course. I want to send them a message asking a question and it's a great way to communicate back and forth. If your teacher's given you additional ways to communicate with them, you know, feel free to use those, but these are just basic features you can use within Canvas. And then finally this help section. So if you're trying to submit something and you need a quick answer, you can search the Canvas guides here. So if you're trying to figure out how you need to submit a quiz, you can go and search the Canvas guides for quiz. Also, check our technology support page because there's a lot of items in that knowledge base to help you. And that's where really all of our resources are going into for the district to try to help you. Also, from there, if you need additional help, you can submit a help ticket and someone will be with you to help you with that issue. Now keep in mind that when you submit a help ticket, if you do it through the Stanley County Schools support page, if you're at home and it's seven, eight o'clock at night, midnight, nobody will be able to get to that help ticket until the next day. So 
you know, keep that in mind, but these are additional ways that you can get help. Outside of that, uh, that's really all there is to Canvas. Canvas is a great way to organize content for your classes and it really get you the access you need with the content that really can help you with the material.